Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. That's Richard, this is my head and this is a longbow, so that kind of makes sense. That's why we call them Richard Head Longbows videos. As you're probably aware, we've been making this self U bow in the past videos. If you've missed them, they're up there where you can actually see us making it. One of the advantages of making bespoke bows, tailor-made bows, is the customer gets to try out the bow once we get to this stage, um, instead of, say, just buying one off the shelf. So what we're going to do is allow the customer now to try this, uh, check their draw length, uh, see if the bow is the correct length, and also see if the weight is still correct for them at their draw length. I haven't mentioned in the other videos, but rather nicely, this is a bow for my dear old mum but you're not my mum. Ah, that's better. <laughs> my dear old mum. <laughs> right, so we're going to get you to try out the bow, um, so see if it feels right for you, so see if the weight still feels okay. okay. We'll recheck your draw length and all those sorts of things. Right. So we'll check your draw length and get you to draw it up. Right. So now that you've drawn the bow up, um, how did it feel? Did it feel light to you? Uh, it's a little bit light. Yeah. Okay. But nice and smooth. Because checking your draw length has allowed us to see what length of bow that we actually need for the customer. Uh, and we can see that this bow is too long for the draw length. That my dear old mum, so I shouldn't keep calling you that, the, <laughs> my dear young, still young mother, um, actually draws. So to be able to get the bow correct uh, for my mum's draw length, we need to chop down the bow. We call piking. So we're going to remove a, a bit of top and bottom so probably an inch top and bottom to keep it even that will bring the draw weight up by a few pounds and will also get the bow correct for the draw length so the bow won't be too long for the style and draw length that my mum is actually using so once we've done that um, the customer can then try the bow out again and hopefully a the bow will be more the correct length based on their draw length and also say the weight will have increased and will hopefully be suitable for them if by chance it's gone up by too much weight we can do more work on the bow and just reduce the weight down again till it's suitable okay folks join us next time where hopefully it will be the final video in this series and my mum will be satisfied with what i've made for her and she might even give us a bit of a demo of shooting it and you'll get to see the handle and the knocks and all those finishing bits that we do to the bow so if you want to join us by hitting subscribe and like the video and all that other jazz then that would be great and one last thing i have a shout out yes i don't even know what one of those is so i had to look it up but i've had my first request and also it was the first person to ever ask for my autograph so hello xanthi gattaca there you are i promised you happy whatever a shout out is so happy shout out day uh, yeah